doing when she was in front. So uh, hopefully they they might just bring out a little bit more improvement in her. But I think a form is there, for, isn't it, for everyone to see? Can we forgive Running Lions run last time out? I feel she was favourite or right up there at Epsom and finished way back down. She didn't, she didn't get the clearest of runs and maybe Epsom wouldn't really be a trap, but I just have a little bit of a worry, Francesca, about her her attitude because she does hang a little bit. I know they've got the ring bit on her and the cross nose band to try and help her, but she does always seem a little bit awkward. And I just really like to see her. She, she, she stretches ahead and then she goes to win the races uh, like she did the time before. And then she just seems to kind of, there's something that kind of clicks in her brain and she just kind of goes, oh, actually, no, I don't, don't really want to do this. She, she traded at 101 on her return at Newmarket, went clear, like you say, and then drifted around. I'll give her a pass on the Epsom run. It wasn't, wasn't her running, I don't think. Just quickly, could Nova spring a surprise? Quite high she, in the rating. Yeah, she's got some really good form at Goodwood. That's probably her favourite venue. OK, looks like they're all loaded. Let's go for commentary. So the last one goes in, which is Gregorina. They're all set on the round mile in the gate. And uh, they're off. They race for the Group 2 at Duke of Cambridge Stakes and through the very early stages, a little bit of a difference of opinion. The four who were drawn widest of all don't want to be any part of the early skirmishing. One very badly missed the pit kick and that was C, the lady, the French Raider, is a long, long way out of the ground in the early stages. So towards the wide outside from stall 11, running line has come through to claim the lead. Towards the inside rail, Julia Augusta is racing in second and Breege is in third and racing keenly. Looks a pretty dirt, decent early pace towards the inside. Rome Millennium is racing in fourth, racing alongside Ocean Jewel and on their outside is Doom. After these towards the inside is Laurel, who is covered up, then the grey Orchid Bloom. Next in the field and on the heels of Magical Sunset, on her outside is Royal Dress, as already go towards halfway. Nibras Angel and then on the inside is Novus, followed by Gregorina and the very slow starting See the Lady sees them all right in the cheap seats, 12 lengths off the leader, who is running Lion as now they begin to make the turn back towards home. Just over three furlongs to go as Sheen Murphy stacks them up here on running Lion the lead is a length and a half trying to get out is Julia Augusta she was in her pocket for a moment towards the outside is Breeze then last year's winner Ro Millennium who is driven but he's closing down the outside is Doom followed by Ocean Jewel Laurel towards the inside but running Lion still has a break over the field with just over a furlong to go running Lion keeps running to the line the lead is three lengths but Laurel is closing now into second and with every strike she takes, she's closing that gap down, but Running Lion is game, gamely going to win the Duke of Cambridge. Running Lion wins for Sheen Murphy. It was Laurel in second, a three-way go for third. Doom on the stand side, Roman in between horses, and with late game, magical sunset towards the inside rail. Six to one winner, Running Lion has taken the Duke of Cambridge, and it is a one-two for trainer John Goston and Thady Goston as they had the second Laurel who came here off a very, very long break. Looks as though it's going to be Doom on the near side who may just have the head down for third position, but it is very, very tight with the horse who was staying on on the far side. That was Magical Sunset. I think we can pretty definitely say that last year's winner, Rogue Millennium, in the end has finished in fifth. So no two-time winner of the Duke of Cambridge, but it is another significant win. This time for the Gosdens, an outright record fifth win for the Gosden family now in the 21st running of the Duke of Cambridge. Their winner was Running Lion. And you could see Asheen Murphy